and sisters in Christ, we are gathered here in this holy mass as a way of thanksgiving of the special graduating students of school year 2020 of our institution, the Naga College Foundation Incorporated. Together with them, we give glory and thanks to God, who is so good, merciful, and compassionate. He is our loving Father in heaven, who continuously blesses us and grants us the necessary graces in our everyday life. And so, together with the Board of Trustees, the administrators, the faculty, the parents and friends of all those who helped our graduates of 2020 to fulfill their dream today, let us rejoice and offer this special Eucharistic celebration as a special thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father. May we enjoin everybody to participate actively in the community songs and responses during our Holy Mass. Our presider in the Eucharistic celebration is our Reverend Father Romeo G. Donato, OFS, Parish Priest of Our Lady of La Porteria Parish, Calabanga, Tamarina Sur. We now stand and joyfully sing the entrance song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The bless them, let us acknowledge our sins, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The college uh, president, members of the board of trustees of ECF Foundation, faculties, and teaching personnel, good morning. As I reflect on the readings, last night we start writing this reflection and asking Jise, Jise, on the occasion. I came to the point of calling my reflection today is touching lives through education. Michael Angelo's painting depicts creation of Adam. How did Michael Angelo do it? Ikuna kalina po kamo kan painting kan creation of Michael Angelo. He shows God's outfits are stretching out to Adam and the tip of his finger gently touching Adam's finger who thus become alive. In today's gospel, Jesus' finger of God casts out demons and defeats Satan's destructive power. Thus, he can declare the kingdom of God has come to you. Through Jesus, God's new world begins to dawn. When I celebrate my 25 years of priestly ministry two years ago, it reminds me of my personal motto, which after long years of reflection on where my life revolves as a priest for 25 years, I found out that it is helping the poor deserving students of every parish where I am assigned to attain college.
college education through linkages. The beneficiaries of the scholarship was 34, and all of them are now employed teachers, both and government institutions and private schools. Thus, the ministry caters more on finding lives, building people through education. That ultimately, educating people unlocks poverty and open new opportunities. Let's can equip them, finding life, and ultimately building themselves in others. Education in the process defeats the power, the destructive power of evil, of poverty, and equip them to aspire for a higher level. Just like God in the creation of Adam, Jesus established God's reign with the gentle touch of his finger not forcefully twisting the arm. Reaching out to others by educating them through linkages is actually touching their potencies and let them discover themselves by exposing them to different disciplines of science and education. As Jesus uses the power and force of love to get rid of Satan, we too as parents, as educators, can use the power of education to get rid of poverty and dependency later in life. Love is the trademark of God's reign. And love meaning charity, mercy, and goodwill will, will be stronger than the force of power by hatred, by jealousy, and envy. Today, as our batch 2019 and 20 finish their education, we they have to stand persons behind their success. If you are here today, if we are not in the pandemic, you have to remember those persons behind your success. It is their love that moves them to send you to school and anticipate your bright future. It is love that inspired them to create meaningful life for you ahead. For loving is caring. Sending you to school is caring for your future. When I was a seminarian, my professor in English in Ateneo in my bachelor's degree told us, Mrs. Tate Socorro Tate, the former Mrs. Socorro Tate, my English teacher in Ateneo, sabi niya, I am helping you seminarians not because I have, but because your hearts will, be, will remember me when I'm gone. One our Father, one Hail Mary, one Glory be, is more than enough for my soul when I am gone. Every time that I celebrate Mass, ang konsensya ko nagtataging ting para sa sabi ka sa mga maestang yun sa English. We remembered her, whatever she is, she is gone, but she become part of our priestly ministry as a friend and as an educator. That is Mrs. Socorro Now, my siya, she is alive in our ministry. So ac accepting the reign of God in its way of love is becoming new and righteous person. Happens only through faith. It's from the first reading of St. Paul clearly states the just or righteous person has life through faith. My dear teachers, non-teaching personnel of the NCF Foundation, the Board of Trustees, all who are here, reflecting on this context, we could say 
that through education, we can find life and we can build people someday and they will be more productive than unproductive members of the society. Wondering why our country up until now is still stuck on what we call this developing states. Perhaps one of the reasons is education was not taken by heart. Rather, it's only taken in the brain. That they become more of monsters of society, sowing more heart than good. Let us pray that us, our graduates, walk out of NCF, your alma mater. You strive to be achievers someday, but do not forget that at the end of the day, what matters is fidelity and success. Many become successful but unfaithful. Aim the two, be faithful and be successful. Let us all take this time to thank our Lord God ang ating mga nai na nakanya pransya for all the past four years that we have nurtured or five years for some of our students that we have nurtured our students for them to reach this point of their graduation uh, thank you lord for all the guidance thank you for all our faculty and staff to our deans our board of trustees and I would, would like to thank our baccalaureate mass celebrant, Honorable Romeo, marami pong salamat. To our dear parents who would now be celebrating this baccalaureate mass in a different way. And our student that will be celebrating this with us through virtual. On behalf of our management and through the guidance of our Lord, we would like to give you our prayers as you trek the new normal in your path of your career after your graduation. Don't forget to keep on praying that this new normal will be guided and you will always remember what your faculty, your teacher have taught you, what our school have given you, the strength and the education that you will be using for you to keep on uh, giving the best that you can for all the skills that God has given you. I would like you to congratulate you and to wish you good luck for all the things that you'll be doing from here on. For those that will be taking their board examinations, continue your resilience, continue your patience and your perseverance. God will guide you for all the things that He has given you and what he has prepared for you so to all our graduates to our parents thank you for entrusting your children to us and may god bless us in this new normal that we will be able to take the step of courage and soon uh, things will be back to where we were before this pandemic came to us god bless us all and good luck to our students Thank you and good and good day. Please all rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
The Philippine National Anthem by the NCF Community Tayo ay magsitayo at ilagay ang kanang kamay sa ating dibdib at magbigay pugay para sa pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. NCF him. R. Ongo, Dean, College of Business and Accountancy. Candidates for graduation of the College of Business and Accountancy, please rise. Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the Faculty of Instruction of the College of Business and Accountancy and the Registrar, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation for the degrees Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Bachelor of Science in Accounting Technology, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Marketing Management, Financial Management, Human Resource Development Management, Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship. They have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of their respective curricula as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education, Republic of the Philippines. Mr. President, for your confirmation. Confirmation of graduates and conferring of titles and degrees, we call on Mr. Mario C. Villanueva, MBA, President of NCF. By the power vested in me, by the Board of Trustees, and by the Commission on Higher Education and the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, and upon the recommendation of your respective deans, faculty, and the registrar, 
that you have satisfactorily complied with all the requirements for graduation as prescribed in your respective curricula under the Commission on Higher Education and the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority. I now confirm the candidates presented as graduates of your respective degrees and titles and therefore entitled to receive your diplomas or certificates with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations! Introduction of the commencement speaker, Mr. Mario C. Villanueva, MBA, President of NCF. Delivering this message to you as the eldest grandson of our founder, Dr. Melchor T. Villanueva, and the fourth president of the Naga College Foundation, after this term, brings out a mixed feeling of pride and privilege. Pride, because from the meager fund of Lolomel and the help of some friends, he was able to establish the Naga College Foundation to help rebuild Naga City after it was severely affected by the World War II in 1947 and was able to provide educational opportunity to deserving but financially deprived students in the province and in the region. Lolomel, as he is fondly called by the NCF community, undaunted by his financial inadequacy, was able to finish his elementary and secondary studies while working as a barber and a farmland in a Bangus culture farm in Malabon during weekends. He has worked hard to finance his college studies at the University of the Philippines and sought different scholarship support to earn his masteral and doctoral degrees on the same university and at the University of Iowa and Missouri State University in the United States. Privileged because I was lucky for the opportunity to continue the legacy that my grandfather has started and bring it to a greater heights. Throughout the years, the school continued to grow from a rented house situated along Peña Francia Avenue, offering a two-year course in education with 114 enrollees in 1947. It started to offer elementary and high school in 1951 and later registered to Naga Teachers College to Naga College and now its present name of Naga College Foundation as a non-profit organization offering all educational level programs, preschool, elementary, secondary, tertiary and postgraduate studies and reaching the highest enrollment level of 8,800 and continuously expanding to accommodate its growing family of individuals with a shared belief in the value of education. One of the reasons why the administration has chosen our distinguished guest for this year's commencement exercises is the fact that his life is similar to what our founder has gone through. My dear graduates, parents, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my distinct privilege and pleasure to introduce to you our most esteemed guest of honor and commencement speaker. He is a man of such humility and simplicity. And I believe it is precisely the simplicity, humility, and down-to-earth attitude that endear him to become a successful professional. Our guest of honor today is the living idiom of a man who happened to be born at the right time and at the right place. Coupled with an impressive background, it was not therefore surprising that he is currently the youngest ever elected as mayor of the city of Manila. 
from an early age, he already knows the importance of perseverance and hard work. He found alternative sources of income at the age of 10 by pushing a cart and going house to house to gather all newspapers and used bottles, then reselling them at the local junk dealer. Despite his humble beginnings, Mayor Isco pursued and nourished his unwavering passion for learning. Not only he reads books, especially about prominent world leaders, he appreciates think tanks. In 2012, Mayor Isco attended the executive education program at John F. Kennedy the School of Government in Harvard University. A year later, he finished the Emerging Leaders Executive Program, also at JFK School of Government in Harvard University. In the same year, Mayor Isco completed the Oxford Strategic Leadership Program in SAID Business School University of Oxford. He is also a product of an executive education program at the University of the Philippines, National College of Administration and Governance. Mayor Isko Moreno received his Doctor of Humanities and Community Development degree from the Pamantasan and Lunsod ng Maynila in the year 2014. A fitting recognition for his 18 years of community service while serving Manila as city councilor and vice mayor. With this background, he was appointed by President Rodrigo Duterte as Undersecretary of Department of Social Welfare and Development. Prior to this, Mayor Isco Moreno was appointed by President Duterte as Chairman and President of the North Rail Corporation. Mayor Isco studied law at the Arellano University School of Law. Three years after graduating from International Academy of Management and Economics with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Some of the prestigious awards and recognitions he received include the Most Outstanding Filipino in the Field of Public Service Award from Gawad America Foundation, an institution based in Hollywood, California, United States. And as one of the top 10 men who matter by People Asia magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Naga College Foundation's distinct honor and pride to have this very special man with us, whose presence truly makes our occasion more memorable and meaningful. The man who grew up in slums in Tondo, Manila, and who is now tasked to rebuild the capital city of the country, the total rock star, according to U.S. Ambassador Sung Kim, the Honorable Francisco Isco Moreno Lomagoso, the Mayor of Manila. The commencement address by Honorable Francisco Isco Moreno Lomagoso. Hi, magandang araw po. Ako po ay uh, nagagalak na makipag-ugnayan uh, lagi sa mga taga-Bicol o taga-Bicolandia sapagkat uh, maaaring hindi nyo alam ako po ay nakapangasawa ng isang Bicolan ng magaling magluto nagasursugun po siya kaya piling ko po lagi ako ay uh, connected sa Bicol region alam nyo kung bakit dahil ang Bicol ay kapitbahay ng Samar province at ang nanay ko po ay isang waray-waray. Kaya madalas ang pakiramdam ko ay nakapag-asawa ako ng isang kapitbahay. Waray-waray, nakapangasawa sa kabilang dagat na taga-sursugon. Uh, mga mag-aaral, manunod, at eh, siyempre mga guro, uh, mga magulang na naririto ngayon at nanunod. No? You may not feel the uh, usual excitement and happiness an ordinary graduate would feel on this day of your graduation. This is, of course, 
not the dream graduation ceremony you envision to have. I know most of you are uh, imagining a graduation march on stage with lots of cheers, claps, and woo-woo from your uh, parents and family, no? and of course friends. But uh, this thing would not happen. Indeed, you are the chosen and the most fortunate graduates in this very challenging and striving period of the pandemic. Surviving the pandemic and joining this graduation is a step higher than the previous graduates that we have. And this, I salute and congratulate you and to our distinguished uh, chairman of the board, no? Attorney Carlos C. Uh, Villanueva, the energetic and visionary President Mr. Mario C. Villanueva, and members of the Board of Trustees, administrative officials of the institution, and to our professors or members of the faculty, to our dedicated deans of different colleges and, and passionate and innovative mentors, our successful graduates and very supportive parents, buli magandang umaga sa inyo. No? I am honored, very honored and privileged to join you in this virtual graduation ceremony for the Naga College Foundation, Inc. Your graduation may not be a very ideal uh, situation because we are still, as I have said, in the middle of rebuilding our society and continuing to have challenges with regard to this pandemic situation brought to us by dreadful coronavirus. Your future looks worry and the grim job market. And I wish I could uh, tell you how you can move forward, but I can't. There is so much uncertainty. But for the meantime, what is certain is your dream. Katulad ng inyong mga magulang, pangarap para sa inyo. Your goals and the things that you value in life. These are the things that will guide and sustain you as you walk through life's challenges. You have been sufficiently honed and shaped by your alma mater. Just continue growing, nurture, and never stop your quest for truth and life's meaning. And make use of the NCF core values of quality, excellence, service, and truth to guide you in all that you do. Don't save your best effort for last, but always give your best. You'll never regret it, you know? But in every step of the way, don't forget, you know? Yung ambang tawag ko dun eh, uh, mapagpasalan. Appreciate. Just be thankful of what you have. And all other things, thank the Lord. Thank God Almighty, your teachers, your parents, and your family, and to all the people have been instrumental for you to reach this part. As you continue the next journey in life, always remember that the hope of the future is a challenge for you to make this world a better place to live. So. We are counting on you. I am personally counting on you. And I hope in the next few days, hopefully, I can work. And I'll be happy working with some of you here in Manila and help me transform the place the way I envision it to become, you know, a city of hope, city of opportunity the way it was before what you call the pearl of the orient the paris of the east and 
to lead the country uh, by having a progressive, no, sabi nga, maaliwalas, malinis, at panatag na lungsod ng Maynila. Kaya, ang tabayanan ko kayo. So again, sa mga magulang, I'm happy for you. Congratulations, mga nanay, mga tatay, mga lolo't lola. Masaya-masaya ako para sa inyo ngayong araw na ito. Sa mga guro, naku, marami salamat sa mga taon ng inyong pasensya sa ating mga estudyante. Ito na ang bunga. Sa pamunuan, congratulations. So, muli po, no? Let me take this opportunity uh, to remind each and every one of you there's still danger. Uh, and uh, I would like you to be responsible individuals also uh, by following simple uh, me uh, medical or health protocol. Please wear masks. Kung kaya nyo, wear face shields. Wash your hands and practice at all time physical and and social distancing. Kusang disiplina. Pag malasakitan ninyo ang inyong sarili, para nyo nang pinagmalasakitan ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay na naghihintay sa inyo sa kanitanyang tahanan. Yun, yun po ang aking paalala. And, yung awan Diyos, makakaraos din tayo. So, congratulations sa inyong lahat and marhay na aldaw. Ha? Maraming salamat po Pagpalainawa kayo ng buong may kapal. Manila, God first. Thank you. Let us listen to our NCF President, Mr. Mario C. Villanueva, MBA, for his message. My heartfelt congratulations to the graduates of Class 2020. This year, indeed, marks a very significant milestone in your lives and I congratulate you and your parents and all those who helped you along the way. Graduation is a very special celebration that honors and recognizes your hard work and achievements. Now that you have finally earned a degree that will open doors to significant new opportunities, we are thankful for all the sacrifices you made to grow personally, intellectually, and even professionally. The world out there is full of challenges. It is not always kind, but I am confident that with the knowledge, skills, and right attitudes you develop during your stay with us, you are more than prepared to face the life's ups and downs. I would like to impart a famous thought from Harriet Tubman. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. This quote reminds us that each one of us has the capacity to initiate change for the betterment of self, and the world. Some people may have failed to achieve their dreams because they lack the confidence, the drive, and the passion to do it. Never give up on your dreams. Be strong, be patient. Do not let others stop you or get you discouraged. Maintain the passion that you have started because in the end, this will lead you to your success. To you, my dear graduates, leaders of the new century, move forward to greatness by reaching out and making connections that truly matter. I enjoin you to align and connect your individual efforts with your alma mater, the Naga College Foundation. May the NCF core values of quality, excellence, service and truth guide you in all that you do. Never stop your quest for truth and life's meaning. Keep learning, keep growing, continue reinventing yourself, and contribute for the betterment of our society. Mabuhay and congratulations! Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. 
Alayan Jennifer A. Marupit Kamaligan Camarines Sur. Ansay Van Sairi. Bagumbayan Sur, Naga City. Arca Rodel V. Kamaligan Camarines Sur, Best in Practico. Asiko Krija A. Kamaligan Camarines Sur. Cortesano Marjorie S. Pacol, Naga City. Floresca Melody B. Lerma, Naga City. Lopez Angeli Grace P. Sumaoy Garcha Torena, Camarines Sur. Lopez Chelsea D. Pili, Camarines Sur. Masarita Joshua M. Pili, Camarines Sur. Mejorado Asaya del Rosario, Naga City. Morano Knight Michael R. Naga City Subdivision, Naga City. Mina Paulo R. Milaor, Camarines Sur. Nacario Jessel Renz C. Ocampo, Camarines Sur. Padua Geno Ronaldo E. Mercedes, Camarines Norte. Panambo Roden P. Iriga City, Camarines Sur. Rodriguez Dayan Marie M. Moncada Tarlac. Rojas Emiros A. Kamaligan, Camarines Sur. San Juan Sandra S. Pamplona, Camarines Sur. The Pledge of Loyalty by Mr. Homer de la Peña Bartolai. May I request to my fellow graduates to please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. Pledge of Loyalty. I state your name, Homer Bartolai, conscious of my duties and responsibilities as a graduate of Naga College Foundation. I solemnly pledge and reaffirm my faith in God and country. I hereby promise to uphold the ideals and principles of my alma mater, to be loyal to her, to live an upright life, to keep sublime and untarnished the noble traditions of Naga College Foundation. I make this pledge in grateful acknowledgement of my debt of gratitude to my alma mater. To induct the graduates of the NCF Alumni Association, we call on Ms. Jennifer Olaso Harris, Vice President, NCF Alumni Association. May I request all the graduates to please stand, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I, state your name, a graduate of the Naga College Foundation, do solemnly affirm my membership in the NCF Alumni Association Incorporated and hereby pledge to support its articles of incorporation and obey the bylaws as well as legal orders of the duly constituted officers to be loyal and proud of my alma mater to defend and uphold their ideals and principles to commit myself and participate in the affairs of the association to conduct myself as a member of good standing according to the best of my knowledge and discretion with deep sense of unity fraternity corporate pride and social responsibility and impose upon myself this voluntary obligation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors, I am pleased to convey you into the membership of NCF Alumni Association. Congratulations and our sincere and best wishes for the successful and bright future. Closing of these ceremonies by Dr. Ida P. Osea, 
Vice President for Academic Affairs. I now formally declare the commencement exercises officially at your.